My name is Soya Wakui. I'm such an introvert that no one in my university class would notice if I was in class or not. I'm usually having lunch alone at the edge of campus. It is raining today, so I decided to take my lunch to an empty classroom. Oh, is there someone here already? Hey, this is our usual lunch spot. It was two girls from my department that are known to be the pretty girls in school. I really can't relax when there's someone else here. It was Karin Yunoki that had said that as she sighed loudly. You can feel the air shift in the classroom when she walks in, as she is so beautiful. But she doesn't boast about her beauty, so she's liked by other girls too, and she's always surrounded by a group of people. Well, that only makes it harder for any guy to approach her. Oh, sorry, I'll find somewhere else to eat. I say as politely as I could, when the other girl patted on my shoulder and stopped me. Now, now, why don't we all eat together? This here is Misuzu Amaya. She's always hanging out with Kari, and she's more the cute type rather than the pretty type. Anyone would look back at her to gaze at her nice physique. This unstoppable duo does stand out at school. I never thought that someone like me would ever cross paths with them, but here I am about to have lunch with them. Your name was Soya, wasn't it? You're in the same grade as us, so no need to be so uptight and polite to us, right? I guess. It just came so naturally. Oh, so you brought your own bento. It's super cute. It's got a character design on it. Did your mommy make your character bento boxes for you at this age? Or is it your girlfriend? Wait, I can't help but feel like I've seen this layout before. Oh, um, I make it myself. Really? It's way too cute for you to just make it for yourself to eat. Look, I made my own lunch too. Have a taste. Here, open wide. Oh, have some of the cookies I made too. I'm not much of a cook, but I'm a pretty good baker. Huh? What's happening here? Both omelette and cookies taste good though. Okay, now that you've had some of my omelette, you need to grant one of my wishes. Huh? A wish? You need to give me your number, and you need to let me go to your house. Huh? My number is one thing, but my house? <laughs> There's just something I need to confirm. Hold on a second there. Me too, me too. I want your number and to go to your place. You too, Karin? You two have hardly even talked to me until today. Before I could say no, the plans were already being made. Who would have thought that one day I would be exchanging numbers with these two? Well, the situation seems a lot more complicated than that though. And it was confirmed that we would all go back to my place after school. Is my room even clean? This place looks a bit too nice for a single student. Are you living here with your folks? No, I live here alone. Hmm, it makes me a little nervous. It'll just be the two of us. Wait, that doesn't sound right. What are you even thinking about? I'm still here, so that makes it the three of us. So nothing weird will happen, you perv. I had the two of them come in, and for some reason, Misuzu went straight for my kitchen. W wait I still have the stuff out in the kitchen. I knew it. Misuzu said, looking at the camera still set up in the kitchen. I knew I'd seen that bando somewhere, and your voice too. It sounded too familiar. What? What? What are you guys talking about? Misuzu showed Karin something on her phone. On the screen was my channel, and the video of me showing my character bento box that I had made today. I had made that bento on the live stream this morning, and brought that to school. So, there really was no way I was getting out of this one. Oh, so you knew. I hardly ever show anything beyond my hands. <laughs> this was the reason I wanted to come to your house to confirm this. Your unique character bento was a dead giveaway. I've been checking out this channel for a while now. So you knew something. Mrs. don't leave me out of things. I've just exposed his identity as the popular cooking my tuber. Oh, I know about this channel too, but I didn't get close to you because I thought you might be a my tuber. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I guess I have to come clean on this one, but please don't tell anyone else that I'm on YouTube. So, a secret. That's kind of cool. It would have been more exciting if it was just out secret. 
Since then, both Karen and Misuzu now come to my place often, with the excuse of learning how to cook from me. We do a little cooking lesson too, but we mostly end up just chatting. Both of them have been acting rather close to me. I can't tell if they act this way to everyone. I'm not used to being around women, so it makes me very anxious. One day during our lunch break, the three of us were having lunch together again. We spent lunch time together like this often now. Look, look, I'm gradually getting used to making nice lunch boxes like soya. See, have a taste. Open wide. Me too, me too. Here's soya, here comes the chitter train. I can use my chopsticks to eat too, but they always insist on feeding me. It's really embarrassing for me to open my mouth like that, you know? So, how is it? Is it good? My bento's better, right? Yup, they're both delicious. Stop it, you can't do that. Tell us which one is better. Yeah, who are you going to choose? We are still talking about the bento boxes, right? About the bentos too, but I'd really like for you to start narrowing down which one of us can be coming over to your place. Oh, you think you can get away with him? I had my eyes on him first. If order is so important, then I had my eyes on him first. They were bickering as they each grabbed one of my arms. It seems that they are fighting over me. Um, I... Wait, let me talk. I started to like you even before the first time we had lunch together. Karen started to talk. You might not remember it, Soya, but last winter, we were in the same discussion group in class. It wasn't like I had a crush on you then, though, but after class, you gave me some hand cream. My hands were roughed up from all the baking I was doing. There were a lot of people who'd compliment me on my looks, but I never really had anyone who was just genuinely nice to me. Since then, I had been interested in you. I try to remember about that time as well. Karen looked as if though she were the perfect girl. Her outfit, her makeup, even her hair was shining and silky smooth. But just her hands, her nails were trimmed short, not fancy. And for some reason, they looked a bit rough. My hands get roughed up from cooking too, and I felt a little closer to her. It felt as if though I had found the one point of weakness in the perfect girl. I thought I might be overstepping my boundaries, but I remember I gave her one of my unused hand creams. I regretted doing that though, since I felt like such a creep. But that was actually when I started to notice her too. Not just as a pretty sight to look at, but as a woman. So that day we had lunch together, I saw you alone in the classroom, and I saw it as a chance to get to know you better. Really? I had no idea. Why didn't you tell me? Sorry I kept this from you, Mrs. I was kind of too shy to tell you. I didn't think that you would end up liking him too, but it looked like we were going to be rivals, so I panicked. So, Soya, I like you. I'd like it if you chose me over me, Suzu. Um, to be honest, I have had a crush on you too, but I didn't pursue it since I didn't think I had a chance. I still can't believe we got to be this close, and that you liked me back. If it's alright with you, please go out with me. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, Soya. Oh man, so I didn't have a chance from the start. It's a shame, but congratulations, Cuddy. I'm sorry, Mrs. but thank you. You two better be happy together, but I hope you'll both still be friends with me. Oh, Soya, if you ever get tired of cutting, I'll always be waiting. Oh, you? We're never going to break up. And that's how I started dating Carrie. Even then, the three of us still spent most of our time together at school, and a lot of guys were looking over at me enviously as I was rumored to have two beautiful girls wrapped around my finger. And after school, Karen and I cook and bake together as we spend sweet and loving time together like a proper couple. My name is Takasa Nita. As you can tell, I am a super introverted high school student. 
Upon arriving at school, I saw an expensive black vehicle with tinted windows. From there emerged a girl so beautiful she took my breath away. So that's the chairman's granddaughter? Look how rich she is. She's also the prettiest girl in school. She lives on a different planet from us. Her name is Miyabi Itsuki. She is a celebrity at school. She's pretty, but I don't do well with assertive girls like her. I prefer... As I was daydreaming about girls, someone tapped me on the shoulder. Good morning, Tsukasa. Whoa. Oh, it's just you, Aki. Just me? So rude. I mean, we are dating. My bad. You're right. We are dating. Her name is Aki Oshiro. Aki and I used to just be childhood friends. But I secretly had a crush on her, and I mustered up the courage to ask her out the other day. Unexpectedly, she accepted, and here we are as boyfriend and girlfriend. Can we hold hands up to the entrance? Sh sure but is anyone looking? Don't worry. No one will notice. Oh, how happy I am to have a girlfriend. I was over the moon having a girlfriend for the first time in my life. But a few days later... Sorry for calling you out like this all of a sudden. Yeah, sure, but why is he here? Suddenly, Aki pulled me away to talk. And for some reason, Kakeru is standing by her side. We went to the same school since junior high, and he is a year younger than me. And yet, he has a tendency to look down on me just because he's a little good looking. I want to break up with you. Huh? Why all of a sudden? I'm so sorry. If there's something you don't like, I can fix it. Please at least tell me the reason. Sorry, I can't explain. How am I supposed to accept that? Calm down, a girl this pretty is too good for you, senpai. From now on, I will take good care of her in your place, senpai. What? So you're breaking up with me and dating this guy? Well... Stop being so clingy. You have been dumped. Give up already. What the... And still so confused. I was heartbroken. I was depressed for quite a while. I didn't feel like going to school, and I just stayed home, curled up in bed. I guess she wanted a good-looking guy like Kakeru over an introvert like me. But I couldn't be absent from school for too long, so I showed up at school, then... Tsukasanita! Is Tsukasanita here? Huh? Me? A wave of confusion filled the class. Understandably so. I mean, the school celebrity, Miyabi Itsuki, is repeatedly calling my name. There you are. You could at least respond if you're here. I need to talk to you. Come with me. Huh? Talk? What way? And I was forced to follow her out of the classroom. We arrived at the empty school courtyard. As I panicked and slightly feared for my safety, she said this to me. Um, can I call you Tsukasa-kun? You are Aki's boyfriend, right? Help me save Aki. Huh? Help you? Do what? Anyways, I'm not her boyfriend anymore. Do you really believe you were dumped? You know Aki would never do something so cruel. Aki would never... Um, Miss Itsuki, what do you know about Aki? Just call me Miyabi. I can tell. I know her well. According to her, Miyabi and Aki were best friends as kids. Aki took care of Miyabi that was out of touch due to her rich family. I went to a private elementary school, so we drifted apart, but I reunited with her here at the school. Aki probably doesn't think anything of me anymore, but I still feel grateful to her. If she's in trouble, I want to help her, but I think that Aki really wants you to come help her. That's not my problem. I've already been dumped. I didn't want to feel any more miserable than I already did. So I did decline the offer at first, but Miyabi was persistent. <sighs> I'm tired of all this. All right, I'll help you. Do as you will. <laughs> yes. And that's how I ended up playing along with the rich girl's game. And what are you planning on doing exactly? Aki is going out with Kakeru of her own free will. I don't think it's anything we should interfere with. Tsukasa, you're so silly. Do you really think Aki switched over to little Mr. Good-looking just for his looks? I mean, why else would it be? Aki said to me herself that she wants to break up with me. There must have been another reason she had to. How do you know that? You said you two have been distant in recent years. If you know Aki as a kid, 
You'll know. She would never judge someone just by their looks. I mean, I guess so, but... I have been friends with Aki since childhood as well. I know her as a kid very well. But what other reason would there be? Well, just leave it to me. I'm in the middle of researching everything about this Kakeru guy. Huh? How would you? Duh. By using the power of money, of course. If it's up to me, privacy is nothing more than a piece of garbage. Whoa, she's got quite the dark side to her. From this, Miyabi and I spent a lot of time together. Some students were even spreading rumors that we were going out. In the beginning, I assumed that Miyabi was just selfish and gets her way all the time, but soon I came to realize that she is actually very caring of her friends and never leaves a debt that owes someone. I found myself starting to like her a little bit. One day, Kakeru appeared in front of us. Oh senpai, you've already started hitting on a new girl this soon after being getting dumped? Not bad for an introvert like you. Miyabi and I aren't like that. Are you sure about that? I bet to differ seeing you guys around school. I guess it doesn't sit well with him that me, someone he looks down on, is with the prettiest girl in school. Kakeru continues to make mean remarks. He even went as far as to... Can I call you Miyabi-san? Why don't you hang out with me instead of that guy? I can give you a way better time. What? You're supposed to be dating Aki, and yet you're trying to hit on Miyabi too? Huh? What's it to you? Love is freedom, so how about it? Hmm. Well, you do look attractive. What? Miyabi, you too? I guess all girls would prefer a good-looking guy over an introvert like me. Miyabi does not look like she is against the offer. The memories from being dumped by Aki flashback and make me depressed again. But then... But I hate men that only have good looks. If anything, your personality is atrocious. Why you? Miyabi brutally turned down Kakeru's offer. Kakeru was furious. You really want an introvert like him? You really have bad taste in men. What? Tsukasa-kun is a hundred times better than you are. Miyabi. Grr, you've made fun of me one too many times. Wait till my brother hears about this. Oh. Brother? What are you talking about? No, um... I already know. I just received the research results yesterday. Your brother is quite the infamous delinquent, isn't he? Ugh, how do you know that? And you've been asking a bunch of girls out and pressuring them to go out with you. You probably told Aki a similar story, that if she didn't comply, Tsukasa-kun will be in trouble. Grr, that's not... You did something so sleazy? Unbelievable. I will be reporting this to my grandpa... No, the chairman about this. Why, you little... How dare you ruin my plan! Ah! Kakeru, now enraged, lunges at me, Abby. My body reacted before I could think. Ugh! Tsukasa-kun, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Kakeru, you try to hit a girl. That's really low, even for you. Grr. I won't forgive you for punching Tsukasa-kun. I'm going to ruin you and your brother. Don't underestimate what money can accomplish. Including his violent act, and along with many other wrongdoings, Kakeru was unable to stay in the school and was expelled. Meanwhile, I was able to get back together with Aki. Thank you, Miyabi. It was all thanks to you. Miyabi-chan, I'd like to thank you too. Congrats, you two. I think you make a great couple. But Aki? Hmm? What is it? No matter the reason, should you ever dump to Kasakun again, I'm going to get him next. Y yeah I know. I'll never do anything like that again. Miyabi said jokingly and walked away. What's up with her all of a sudden? Maybe Miyabi-chan also? Hmm? Me? No, no. Never mind. Understanding woman is still too difficult for an introvert like me. But I vow to be happy with Aki for Miyabi's sake too. Right now, my family is in dire straits. My father is number one host. 
but can't go to work due to the effect of coronavirus. My mom is number one hostess at Kabukicho, but similarly staying at home due to requests for shortened hours. Sorry about it, Shinji. We can survive only because you're a high paying part time job. Set your hair straight, put on your contact lenses, and see. As expected of our child, super handsome. Now work hard today, too. Okay. Yeah. My name is Shinji Yamabuki. Second year of high school, school rules were strict before. And high school using rental boyfriends. What to sign up as rental boyfriend was prohibited. But things are better nowadays. Even so, I am usually a nerd. I prefer glass because they are easy to wear. Besides, it is a pain and the ass to play the vivacious handsome guy. But I can help. I did well. I was easily able to hand to the nomination from vivacious girls in class. Which I would have turned down if I had a choice. Hey nerd! Go buy me snacks and other things. Using me as an errand boy like such. And I was nice and didn't fly back to girls who made fun of me, saying that I looked like a geek. I used a fake name and no one found me out. We can went on a date. And when I got back to school Monday, everyone was talking about me. He's as cool as a celebrity. Rental boyfriend is just the best. <sighs> if only such a good man was at our school. That is actually me. The one day, something troubled some card. On this weekend, school's number one beauty girl who is also in my class, requested me for a rental boyfriend. During class, I almost dropped my phone on the floor. School's number one beauty, and the girl I hate the most at the school. When I was studying at the library... What are you studying? Always tries to mess with me in this way. You're annoying. Could you go away? Rather than talking to me, why don't you go talk to some other talkative guys? You're an idiot. Fashionable, vivacious boys don't sit quietly studying in the corner of the library, do they? Most of the boys in our school is vivacious, and most of the girls are gato. You are unique in that sense. You don't go along with the crowd, always alone. Your clothes don't follow the latest fashion, and you don't have your hair done at the salon. You know, your hair... Why don't you take care of your appearance a little more? Leave me alone. I have to work hard to get keep getting scholarship. We are poor after all. Oh, perhaps you keep your appearance plain because you are poor. I'm sorry. I said leave me alone. I think you are interesting because you are different from the other boys. So I was talking to you, but I think it's great that you're not afraid to do things differently. Yeah, well, people will give strange stares if I'm with you, so please don't talk to me. Gosh, you're boring. Let's talk some other times, yeah? Since then, she comes to the library every day, even if I make an apparently annoyed attitude. It's fine to take a breather once in a while. She says, I'd say she sits next down to me. Why don't we have tea at McDonald? It'll be my treat. I have tea in my pet bottle. You're dense. I don't want tea, I want to go to the cafe. If you go with me, you're just really, really strange looks. Hmm, I don't mind. You're serious? Uh, well, why are you packing and leaving? Hey, let's talk more. No, I'm going home. I can't get any study down. You are no fun. We are having such conversation every day, this girl. Her name is Hinata Tachibana. Even if it's pretentious, I have to go on a date with her. I was concerned. My boys, we talk so much. That she might find out that the identity of renter boyfriend is me. Next day, I wanted to cancel, but that was impossible. Even if it's part-time, it was still an important job. Afraid of being found out, I try my best to struggle. Mask in front of the fountain in Hanachimeki Park. I was waiting for Hinata. Sorry, sorry. I was getting prepared and came late. Oh no. How long did you wait for me? About 15 minutes. 
That aside, is this really Hinata Tachibana? Is there anything on my face? No, uh... If you stare so much, it's embarrassing. The impression of this girl is nothing like from her profile picture. But her voice is that of Hinata Tachibana. Sure is hot today. I'm thirsty. You want to go to a cafe? Oh, yes. I don't know what happening. The fact that a beautiful, neat black-haired girl, my exact type, was here. Where did the blonde girl, Hinata Tachibana, go? I didn't want to go to a cafe, since I had to take off my mask while blaming this guys. I heard that iced coffee here is great. You're not going to drink? I... I will... shoot. Only if I can drink through my mask. I took off my mask unwillingly. Suddenly, Hinata's attitude changed. Oh my god! You hit yourself pretty well, Shinji Yamabuki-kun. What? No use hiding! I knew that you were really a handsome guy pretending to be a nerd. Oh? No, but my real name is not. Aha! You look the way! You suck at lying, you idiot! Desk! How did you know? Well, you could probably tell from my voice. Well, no duh. We talk so much in school. I see. I want to hit my identity at school. Is that alright? Mmm... Well, if you consider quitting this part-time job, I'll consider it. What? Anyways, next is karaoke. Let's go! Oh, okay. She dragged me into karaoke without answering. If you kiss me here, I'll keep quiet. No, that is against the job rules. Then I'm talking. Tomorrow, everyone will know that you are a handsome boy pretending to be a nerd. No, please. Cut me some slack. Then kiss me. Always been extroded. I never thought you were so handsome. I'll give you my first kiss, okay? No, but sit on the sofa really close. Isn't it strange how you used to push away the innocent look? Well, I'm not a ghetto to begin with. I just work hard to put on makeup and act it as a ghetto. You didn't try to live like someone else as a nerd and living free. So I was interested in Shinji Yamabuki-kun for a while that I feel at ease being with you. And you are so nice? How you voluntarily give up your seat to elderly in the train? How you complain but still buys girls' necessities from the convenience store? Wow, you are observant. <laughs> and back to the topic. I act as a ghetto, but I'm really just a plain girl. So I prefer natural makeup over flashy makeup. Perhaps since you're blushing, you like these kind of girls? I'll be honest. I... I love it. Then kiss me? I said, such things are prohibited under job rules. Hmm, then just quit today. Rather, I want you to quit. I do this job because I have to. Then you don't mind if I tell everyone your secret? Then probably you'll be popular. Really popular. This is difficult. Can kiss you can't quit a renter boyfriend either. Then the deal is off. You can call it a day. See you. She picked up her shoulder back and turned her back towards me. There's going to be panic tomorrow. Leaving a heavy words behind. Next day, my legs were heavy. I don't want to go to school. I look like a nerd. But the fact that I was really doing renter boyfriend. To think every girl would know about it. Will they pamper me or? Shinji-kun, morning. Thank you for yesterday and having a date with me. I jumped and looked back. It was Hinata Tachibana. Oh, hey! You, same black hair as yesterday. She was no longer a blonde girl in the school full of delinquents and girls. Her neat and tidy appearance was standing out on the contrary. 
I'm taking the classes seriously starting today. Like Yamabuki-kun, my scores are at school lowest, so I'll probably be made fun of. But Yamabuki-kun gave me courage. <laughs> hey, you! About my part-time job, did you already tell everyone? Perhaps if I right now kiss you and you kept the secret, I'll be really grateful. Hmm, then I'll take up on that offer. Right now, in front of everyone commuting. Not on the cheeks, but a deep kiss. Isn't that a little too much? Students were still spurs, but we're still standing out at the school entrance. I was forced a heavy decision. Who is that playing girl next to the nerd? What are they doing staring at each other? Much later, they will find out that plain and the new black hair and glasses girl were the Hinata Tachibana. As for me, I gathered my courage and made a deep, deep kiss. Mm. Guess that makes us a couple? I can see through the glasses, beautiful silk eyes, staring into my eyes with serious eyes. Scary in a way. Later, it caused a great controversy on how Hinata Tachibana has transformed into a nerd. And this is started going out with me. What is so good about a nerd like Yamabuki anyway? Who knows? Tachibana Hinata, why did you change your looks? Thanks to that, my identity was kept safe. This was where Hinata told me later. I had no such intention from the beginning. You were most likely to cheat on me if you become a main character of the Harlem group. I'd hate it if somebody stole Shinjikun from me. Oh, I see. Next Saturday, Hinata and I'm going home together again. You have part-time job tomorrow, right? Who are you dating? The class boss girl. I won't forgive you if you flirt with her. Oh yeah, I keep it within the boundary of work. I got a neat and tidy yonder girlfriend. In a sense, shaking away. My name is Shinji Yamabuki. I'm in my last year of university. I hate to say to myself, but I'm a nerd without anything to be proud of. I never even had a girlfriend. I was raised as a single child, so I was always awkward around women. Until one day, I was introduced to a girl around my age. I'm getting married again. I was proposed by a handsome man who has a lot of money. Not only that, but he has a great personality. I thought you would get along with him too, Shinji. My mom told me so, and suddenly introduced me to a handsome middle-aged man. That man became new my father. The thing is, his daughter was such a beauty. You could see she had inherited his genes. She was so beautiful. Like father, like daughter. She happened to study at the same college as I do. Oh, by the way, she also was elected as a Miss Universe. Therefore, I knew her before our parents introduced us to each other. I'm Irie. Nice to meet you, brother. Uh, nice to meet you too. Her smooth voice made me even more nervous. She was so energetic. You could say we were on the other end of the spectrum. Me, a nerd guy, and her, popular girl. I remember blushing when she shook my hand. The way she held my hand, it probably was the first time I shook hand with such a beautiful lady. Before long, we started to live together. She seemed not to care much about living in the same house with a man like me. The way she wore the veiling clothes around the place. Sometimes she would even forget to lock up the door to the bathroom. Whoa! Hey, I'm in here! I wanted to say it's because you don't lock up properly, but the way she was blushing was so cute. I couldn't say anything. I'm the man. I just consider myself lucky. She was vulnerable like that, but that doesn't mean I wasn't doing what a brother should be doing. Both of her parents were busy, so I cooked food and washed up the dishes while she went out shopping and clean up. Brother, I've been wanting to ask this question for a while, but have you, you ever considered getting a different haircut? We were having a conversation at the dinner table. Oh, you mean changing my looks? Yes, I think it's such a waste. I hate to tell you this, but I heard a few girls talking about how lame you are. I happened to hear them when I was eating lunch at the cafeteria. Lame, huh? I kind of agree with them, though. Huh? 
Wait a minute. Doesn't that make you upset? Don't you think if you changed your style, you would look cool? I just can't be bothered. Cool guy put on effort. I don't have the energy to wake up early in the morning to do my hair just to look better. No way. My sister looked disappointed, but I literally don't care. As they say, haters gonna hate. I understand people who want to put on effort to be liked more, but I prefer get as much sleep as I can. I just won't stay in the bed until the last minute. After we had that conversation, one day I realized my sister was prowling around me on the campus. Hey, why are you following me? I'm on patrol. People might be making fun of you, so I thought I could scare them off by being by your side. No, I can't relax. You're making me stand out. Iri, leave me alone. We promised to keep a secret that we live together. Of course I remember that. But who's going to think we live together just by having a conversation like this? Anyway, nothing unusual today. Maybe the bad rumors have already died out. Who knows? Maybe they just got tired. Talking stuff like who's lame or who's a nerd can't be fun. Right at the moment I said so. Somebody held my neck from behind. He was a famous chat on campus. His name was Fukushima. A few girls were standing behind him. Top nerd? You don't have a girlfriend, do you? What? What do you want from me? You want me to be your wingman? Huh? You going to help me get a girlfriend? I will. I can introduce a lot of hot girls if you want me to. Really? I said. Yes, please. His offer was the best I could ask for. In my mind, I was celebrating and chapping my hands. I heard rumors about Fukushima kun having a terrible personality, but that turned out to be a false. You can't rely on rumors. I looked up him as he said, We'll be having a mixer on Sunday. I will send your location by Izakaya. Don't be late, alright? And tell me the beforehand. If you won't be able to make it, it's just 30 bucks. Pretty cheap, right? Um, yeah, I could do that. I'm only telling this to you, but... The tree right behind me and I feel as a friend of zero will be coming. Look for it. I'll let you know the time is decided. Probably 7-ish. Gotcha! I shook his hands tight as I answered him. I was having high expectation. The weeks flew by and I was heading to the venue. I was thinking I could finally get a girlfriend. Turned out I was wrong. I was only invited to make up the members. I couldn't say anything. They were just making fun of me the whole time. <laughs> No one was nerds on this guy. Look at these lame glasses. Why can't you do something about your looks? How were you able to show up with a straight face? Not only the guys, but the girls were also part of the plan. Until when plain Jane came back from the bathroom. Everyone, including me, thought that she was the same type person like me and was going to get ignored. However, the person who came back from the bathroom was my stepsister Irie. I was at loss for words. All of the guys became excited and started talking to her. Huh? Wait, what's going on? Why are you hiding all of that cuteness? Wow, you're so much my type and like the person like to be my girlfriend! Apparently, she knew one of the girls and was invited to mix her, but she was asked not to stand out too much. Before she revealed herself, everyone except me and Ari had a former couple. But suddenly everything changed because she came back and everyone realized what a beauty she was. Iris spoke out very bluntly. It seems like everyone has got a partner already. I guess I'll go with Shinji-kun then. Now all the guys were trying to argue that, as I expected. Why would you ever care about a nerd like him? My sister suddenly pulled my bands up and showed my face to everyone. I never considered myself handsome, but according to her, I look great when I pull my hair up and take off my glasses. Now all the girls were getting excited. Iris and I left the place. We almost had to escape. Once we got home, I thanked my sister. Thank you for what you did today. I was be embers until you stepped in. You're welcome. To be honest, I wanted you to secretly be my handsome brother. I knew you were the hot type since I saw you coming out of the shower. But I was too frustrated. I couldn't hold myself back. About today's mixer, I was invited by one of the girls. I decided to go because I didn't want to let her down. She asked me not to stand out too much, so I was hiding my face in the beginning. They were so irritating though, I had to take it off. I see. We became even close to each other. Ever since that happened, next morning, I raided my hair for me. Yep, looking good. Nobody's going to be making fun of you now. Look at you, brother. Anyone can see you have great looks. You, you think so? You're flattering me. I was so sleepy while we ate breakfast together. Let's go to school together from today. Huh? Why? Why? Come on. After 
after all, we live together. We're like siblings. I mean, we are siblings that are close to each other. And there won't be any bad rumors about you anymore. You just need a little more confidence. Um, I would feel awkward walking with you, though. Think about all the guys who would be jealous about me. You were, like, super popular. Who are you talking about? You were all so popular at the mixer, right? From today on, you'll never be treated the way you were until yesterday. All the girls will be surrounding you, asking you to go out on a date with them. We ended up leaving the house together. While we were heading to the campus, I realized how people were looking at us on the way. They were having all sorts of expectations. Wow! Look at that! They must be a couple. Anyway, that guy is hot as hell. Of course, they are a couple. Look at how close they are. Woo! What a good looking couple. Dazzling! I didn't feel bad listening to them talk while I went through the gate together. Shinji, I love you. In front of everyone, so proudly. I am second year in high school. My name is Shinji Yamabuki. It is weird of me to say this myself, but I am complete opposite on vivacious handsome type. I have achieved a record of 99 people and they have chosen me as in target for fake confessions. This is a story of how my childhood friend turned out to be the memorable 100th person. This school used to be all boys school, now there is the 100th girl in the first grade. The other 200 is all boys. I am a dull guy who can neither good at study nor exercise. And I also have low face division. As such, I was perfect target for girls. Punishment game of confession. Yamabuki has been confessed 99 times. That's more than Fujishima-kun, number one handsome guy in school. Oh, but those girls are being forced to confess to Yamabuki. It's not much of a record. Brother, I should call it a disgrace law. The boys make fun of the times I've been confessed, but they were confession without failing. From a point of view, it was no way and wish that they would stop with the goofy confessions. Hinata, you're here to make fake confession as well, right? Sorry, but I'm going to ask you to leave. I am sick of playing along with the stupid punishment games. You make the 100 girl. Well, I guess fake confessions will be over with you. Shinji! You saying you won't go out with me? Well, yeah. Because you are confessing just for fun, right? You know my answer. You should go confess to some other boy for real and go out. Enjoy yours. That'll be all. See you. It caused the commotion in the classroom with the girls giggling. The boys were throwing curious looks at me. After school in classroom, I was my usual self. I have decided to play cool and indifferent when made false confessions. Because if I were to be nervous, blushing, stumbling, or hesitant while being falsely confessed, they would make a spectacle of me. Indifference is the way to go about it, as if nothing happened. That would be the best way to discourage those whose plans to make fun of me. Memorable 100 people, now there will be no more fake love confessions. Now I don't have to pull up with those confessions from girls anymore. Nice! I feel great! After school, I was feeling refreshed and planned to stop by the arcade in a giddy mood. But for some reason... Shinji, wait up! Hinata suddenly appeared in front of the school gates. Oh, watch it! Don't suddenly come out like that! We almost hit each other! We were this close from our accidental kills. That was close. You know, we are this close from our lips touching, right? Yeah, that was too close. Might have broken our front teeth there. Oh, uh, that's what you're worried about? Anyway, where are you going, Shinji? Isn't your house in the other direction? That's not of your business. Shish, we're childhood friends since kindergarten. You should dare to make a fake confession to me. I'm actually mad, you know. But what? I just follow the girl group boss's order to do false confession. Because I have to get along, you know? I have to protect my position. I see. But I'm sick of it. Well, there were no more fake confessions, so I should be good. I'm going to the game center, so don't follow me. Oh, why? I want to go too. I want to do some rhythm games. No, I want to go alone. 
We just had a thing with fake confession. So keep your distance. You know, even if it was boss's orders, I wished you didn't follow through. Hey, wait! Hinata follows persistently. Short after we got involved with a group of delinquents at the game center. Sup, shorty. You got yourself a hot girl there. What is a dull guy like you doing with such a good woman? A group of three blonde-haired delinquents. They all had better build than me. You're not her girlfriend, are you? The delinquent who seems to be a boss asked me so, answered immediately. We're just childhood friends. But then Hinata started saying some weird things. I... I'm his girlfriend! Uh the three delinquents and I answered in unison. All the stares at Hinata. I'm his girlfriend. You've got a problem with that? No, I'm saying I'm not her boyfriend though. A mother took Hinata's hand and ran away in a hurry. I was well familiar with the narrow alleys here. So it was easy to wind up a bunch of delinquents who looked unfamiliar with the area. We lost the delinquents midway. Breathing hard, we jumped inside a cafe owned by a man we are familiar with. Oh, Hinata-chan, congratulations! So you two are finally together? I give you shaved ice on the house. A master, what are you saying? We used to come here to eat shaved ice since kids. I looked sideways and saw Hinata all blushing. I let go of my hand in a hurry. Okay. Hinata whispered and Master got making shaved ice. Corner of the counter, that was our reserved position when we were kids. Thinking back on it, there was a seat of honor, and it was cocky for us to take the position even as kids. Hinata-chan is strawberry flavor and shinji like blue Hawaii, right? Hinata answered yes. While I answered, you remember what well, Master? It has been maybe a year since we last came to the store. No way. I forget your two's favorite flavor in just a year. Oh yeah. Master has somewhat of good memory. You were always good at remembering regular customers' orders. After a while, an enormous sized shaved ice came. It was almost 1.5 times the usual amount. The master was like, Large side service for the celebration of the birth of a new couple. Hey, master, what do you mean? Birth of a couple? I have no intention of making her my lover. We just happened to hold hands together. I was falsely confessed by Hinata at today's lunch, so we are not lover or anything, just childhood friends. Uh, is that so? The master already an old man, rolled his eyes. You were holding hands happily, so I assumed you were already hugged, kissed, or then something. Even more, you know, because this day does everything so fast. No, we just held hands. It was only to get away from the delinquents. Yes, master. We're getting to it. Kiss and hug and beyond that. Hey, you! What are you declaring? I have no such intentions. Hmm, I think it should make a great couple. No, master, what are you saying? I'm feeling irritated from being made fun of with a fake love confession today. Besides, even if it was an order from the boss, fake confession to your long-term childhood friend is something she should not have done. No, truth be told, that was an open confession. What do you say? Open confession! Ah, you mean open fake confession? You're wrong! I wasn't faking! Uh, what? Can't hear you well. Ah! Master, I'm leaving! Hinata scuffed down the shaved ice angrily and led the cafe. I was left alone in the store, no other customers. In secret, Master told this. Gosh, Shinji, you always a thick. Hinata-chan has liked you since long time ago. Hinata-chan told me that she liked you back when you guys were elementary kids. But Hinata-chan didn't have the courage to confess, and time dragged on. And here I thought, you guys were finally together and wanted to celebrate. 
when you undergo 99 people's fake confessions, the weight of the world like, start to feel the flimsy word to you. You get me, master? Well, I guess. But why don't you just finish up Shave Ice and go after Hinata-chan? Yes, sir! I tried to pay for the two of us, but Master refused to accept money. It's only today. Why don't you use the money to go on a date? Thank you. I put back the money. I offered back into my wallet. After that, by the time I left the cafe, Hinata was far off. And she was then approached by seemingly handsome men. I ran in a hurry. Hinata is a beauty. She used to tell me that she was troubled by guys hitting up on her. Oh and cute. Why don't we go somewhere to play? He was a fine man, incomparably more so than me. Yeah, I think he has made totally beat. Anyway, I put my hands on Hinata's shoulders and told him off. Oh, brother. Please don't go talking lightly to my girlfriend. Hinata was all blushed in the face. Then she hugged me tight and kissed me. The fine man was like, What the hell? Do the somewhere brief. And left. Then Hinata continued on the same. Now that we've kissed and hugged, the next step would be, you know, to make out tonight. You'd be surprised with my thighs. I have great proportions, you know? S stupid! Don't lift up your skirt here! Doing something like that, maybe this time, all blush in the face. <laughs>